Hi everyone, my name is Fran and I'm Coda's Compliance and Consultancy Manager. And I'm going to be showing you how to set up your next iComply cycle. When you're in month 12 of your cycle, you'll have an option show up on your dashboard or you can set up your next iComply cycle. You can see that right over here. All you need to do is click on Set Up Cycle Now. Once clicked, you can see that a prompt has appeared where you can choose when your cycle will start. The cycle will automatically start from the first of the following month. However, if you would prefer to have the cycle start from another date, all you need to do is click on the calendar icon and select your preferred date. You cannot choose a date that's already passed, but you can start any time after today's date. Once you've chosen your date, click on Go to Cycle Setup. Now let's go over our practice details. Here's where you can check to make sure that your practice details are all up to date. For example, perhaps maybe you have now started to perform sedation. All you need to do is click on yes. And that way it would then populate the necessary compliance reviews into your calendar. Or if you click on no, then that compliance review would then be removed from your calendar. Once you've reviewed all the questions and are happy with them, all you need to do is click Next. Now let's review our audits. If your audit was marked as complete within the iComply application, the date will already be pre-populated in the next due date column over here. If not, these will automatically be scheduled for you as a priority in the first month of your new cycle. You can still amend the date to how you wish by clicking on the calendar icon. In the optional audits section, please make sure that you complete the necessary audits for the services that you provide in your practice. If you've already completed an audit, then the date will appear as to when it was last completed right over here. All you need to do is tick the box, like so, and that way it's included in your cycle. You'll also need to go ahead and populate the date as when you wish to book it in for. Once you're finished reviewing all the audits, click Next. Reviewing our risk assessments. Just like with the audits, if you've already marked the risk assessment as complete and I comply, the date will be pre-populated right over here. If not, these will automatically be scheduled for you as a priority in the first month of your new cycle. Once again, you can still amend the date to how you wish by clicking on the calendar icon and choosing the date. Once you've reviewed all your risk assessments, click on Next. Reviewing our practice meetings. You can see at the top that your previously chosen day of the week will automatically be populated right over here. If you wish to change this, just click on the arrow pointing downwards and choose your preferred day. You can also choose your preferred time right over here. Once you're happy with the chosen day and time, click on Next. Now let's review our to-dos. You'll need to go through each of the to-dos and select the ones that are applicable to your practice. For creating your next I comply cycle, all you need to do is tick the box and make sure to add this to-do in your month 12, just as a reminder for next year. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and add it for February. There we go. For the ones that you've selected, check that the due dates are correct in this column over here. For any to-dos where the date needs to be amended, make sure the date you enter falls within the cycle you're currently setting up. For example, if your cycle starts on the 1st of March, enter your to-dos any time between the 1st of March and the 28th of February within the next year. For the five-year electrical test, do not add this if this is not due within the next coming cycle. In the repetition column over here, 
make sure you select the relevant frequency for the to-do. For example, let's just go to the autoclave services. Let's just say that perhaps maybe your autoclave services are not yearly, but instead they're six monthly. All you need to do is click on every six months, and that way your to-dos are created every six months. In this column over here, you can choose how far in advance you wish to receive your reminders. So let's just say maybe I'd like to be reminded a month before. And lastly, in this column over here, make sure to check that the team member that has been delegated to do is the correct one. Once you're done, click on Next. Additional compliance reviews. Here you can select any compliance reviews that are relevant to your practice. Once selected, they will then be populated into your calendar for you to complete within the next year. Make sure that you choose the necessary ones for the services that you provide. You can also untick any of the reviews that are no longer applicable to your practice. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to tick them off. Like so. Once you're finished going through the optional compliance reviews, click on Finish Cycle Setup. And there we are. You can see over here, it says that your next year's cycle is all ready. Thank you so much and have a great day, guys. Thank you. Bye.